Kia ora guys, welcome to another flip video session. Today we are learning to use the strategy of text-to-world connections. Let's get into it. Making connections, what does it mean? Making connections is when we make links between what we already know, our prior knowledge in other words, and the text we are reading. We're making connections with what we are reading. All right, so what is a text-to-world connection? This is when we connect what we are reading to things that really happen in the outside world or in the world. We connect what we are reading to real world events. These could be historical events that you know about, things you have seen while watching the news, um, or things you've read um, on Kiwi Kids News or Stuff or NZ Herald. We're linking what we're reading to real world events. Example time. I'm reading a novel. And in the novel, the boy is running for school president. He is promising to organise lots of fun activities for students at lunchtime. I have a connection with that. It reminds me of how politicians try to influence people to vote for them. I've just made a text to world connection. I have linked something that's happening in my novel to something that happens in the real world because politicians do, do try to influence us. So what does your follow up activity look like? Simple really. <coughs> All right, it's a double entry journal. Up the top you need to write your name, the name of the text you're reading and the date. When you are reading that, a connection, a text to will connection might pop into your head. If it does, you need to write down exactly what it said in the text on the left hand side. There's even a title for you in the text it says. Okay, so you write down the passage or part of the text you had a connection with on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you write the connection you had. So you write what it reminded you of or the link you made with it. Any questions? Come and see me, guys. Good luck.